the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom like the record to show that I suggested we wait out today and leave tomorrow. So Maddie said there was like an 80 or 90 percent chance of rain. I'm like, oh, it looks like it'll be really light. Yeah, it's fine. And also there was this really good wind that would carry us. Well, it's raining a lot more and there's no winds. So it's like, why are we doing this? So I asked Maddie if she wants to anchor and she's like, this is all you. You're the one that chose to go right now. So. We're anchoring in two miles now, instead of in 20, because, yeah, this is awful. So in the times before, we would have just dropped anchor where we are, no problem. But the thing is, now we have a dog, and that dog needs to go to shore. So everything becomes a little more complicated with Morty on board. It's all worth it, of course, but we always need to anchor in a place that has shore access so that he can go do his business. Okay, so I look on Google Maps. Oh, Charles is coming out. Yes, Charles is <laughs> coming out. Hello, Charles. So I always look on Google Maps for sandy beaches because that means I can take more of you to shore there. And two miles ahead, there isn't one. And then we could go back towards that bridge where there is a little patch where we might be able to anchor and uh, get them to shore. But more importantly, right behind us is a sandy beach. So we're gonna go over this way and drop the hook. Hello. Hello. Good Jerry. Bless you. Okay, it's time. Our anchor is a 65 pound mantis, which is appropriate because we weigh 18 tons. And we always, always, always anchor between five and seven to one. In weather that's super windy, always seven to one. With anchoring, it's always better to put too much chain out than not enough. So with 19 feet, we put out how much chain? I put out 100 feet. 100 feet? Jerry's chewing on my pants. Okay. So the quick math that I do is you take your depth times 10 divide by 2. So 20 feet deep times 10 becomes 200. Half of that becomes 100. So if you put 100 feet, you're 5 to 1. So if you want to be a little more than 5 to 1, you know, ideally you want to be 7 to 1, let out a little more. Being how it's a pretty mild current and no wind, 5 to 1. Because I have to pull that chain back up later. Yeah, Jerry. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Oh. Whee. Hey, Moody. And that island was not as inviting as it looked from here. It was horrible. It was pointy and sharp and full of dead oysters and pretty much nothing else. So uh, since we have to take Morty to shore later, we are going to move the boat uh, to closer to the bridge. Usually under bridges, there is some kind of access to shore. So we're gonna hedge our bets and Hope for uh, more success later. Good morning, everyone. We are having another gorgeous day down in Georgia in the ICW. We just left some bridge behind us where we spent the night because that bridge had a dinghy dock that we could get Morty to shore on, which is a lot more inviting than an island full of dead, scary oysters. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Okay, we just passed the halfway mark. And this is really important because the way we're doing Georgia and most of the ICW is we go inlet to inlet. So we are anchored at an inlet 
and then when the tide's coming in, we ride the current up. We get to the halfway point, and then when the current shifts and starts, you know, ebbing back out because the tide's going out, we go out with the next tide towards the next inlet and then anchor. And then the next day we repeat the process and we can just keep doing this. And the current gives you, you know, several knots of push. So that's free distance that you get. So we just passed the halfway mark. So, and now I can look at the pilings and I see that the current's starting to go the other way because now the tide's going out and we're past the halfway. So it's taking us with it. So we got nine more miles to go and then we get to the next inlet where we're gonna anchor. And then tomorrow we repeat the process. Okay, so now we have 1.6 knots of current pushing us. It's just rushing us down this river, down to the inlet where we're gonna anchor and then wait for the next tide, which will be tomorrow. And uh, we'll ride the flood tide coming in. And we'll go up the next river around the next island and then ride the ebb tide out onto the other side, onto the next inlet. And that's how we've been kind of doing inlet hopping on the inside in Georgia for uh, all this time and it's been it's been working out really really well We made it, we are anchored. There's one heck of a strong current here. It's just ripping out the sea. Now the dangerous thing is the inlet's not navigable. It gets super shallow out there. And there's actually a uh, wrecked ship just kind of chilling on its side out there. Pretty high out of the water, cause it's not deep. So that means that we don't have to worry about ships coming in. The ICW traffic is all to the, uh, where'd that be? That'd be the west of us and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna hang here. So today we've got what we thought we had yesterday. There's a nice sandy beach right by our boat and we're gonna go take the animals. Oyster shells here is incredible. What's crazy is how they're super packed in in some areas and the movement they make when you kind of step on them is, is strange. Oh, Morty had his fun, went swimming, even though he shouldn't have and he came up very muddy. It's nice to just have a little change of scenery. There's not really much to do off of the boat here in this uh, area of Georgia, but you gotta just get off the boat. It changes your state of mind and then you can go back refreshed. Good morning, everyone. It's time to go. And we're off. Anchor's up, stand is up, we're motoring, we're making our way with the current. It's going to be great.
finding things that I forgot I had. Back over a year ago, we were in Madeira, which is an island off of Portugal, and we bought this Blandi's wine. Madeira wine is awesome. It is sweet, it's kind of like port, and you can only get it in Madeira. We've completely forgot that we bought this wine, and now we're gonna drink it in celebration of finding it. That's really good. Woo. Tiny pour because it is incredibly strong. I'm really starting to see why people do the full cockpit enclosure when they're doing the ICW. We're the only ones here. Morty's going around, but we gotta keep an eye on him because there might be gators around. So it's kind of funny when you look forward because we're going sideways through the water because the current is carrying us more than anything. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.